Have you ever wondered how conversations are not just random exchanges of words and phrases? How each one of us, subconsciously or consciously, follows a particular structure or pattern while engaging in a dialogue? Welcome to the fascinating world of conversation discourse analysis. The idea of conversation discourse analysis is not new. It's a technique that linguists, psychologists, and sociologists use to understand the underlying structures and patterns in a conversation. Like an intricate dance, each participant in a conversation takes turns, responds to cues, and follows unwritten rules that guide the flow of the dialogue. To illustrate, consider the case of a customer service interaction. A customer calls to complain about a defective product. The customer service representative listens, acknowledges the issue, offers a solution, and finally closes the conversation with a polite sign off. Quite simple, right? But there's so much more happening beneath the surface. The customer service representative follows a script, yes, but also adapts to the customer's tone and language. They employ empathy in their responses, mirroring the customer's feelings to build rapport. They use certain phrases to control the direction of the conversation and subtly steer it towards a resolution. This is a prime example of conversation discourse analysis in action. So what are these unwritten rules and patterns? First, there's turn-taking. In a conversation, each participant takes turns to speak, and the transition from one speaker to the next is usually smooth and seamless. Interruptions or overlaps are typically perceived as rude or aggressive. Second, adjacency pairs. These are pairs of utterances where the first one prompts a specific response. For instance, a greeting expects a return greeting, a question expects an answer. Third, there's preference organization. This refers to how we structure our responses to align with social norms and expectations. For instance, accepting an invitation is usually straightforward and direct, while declining it often involves explanations and apologies. Finally, there's repair. This is when a speaker corrects or clarifies something they said, often triggered by a sign of confusion or misunderstanding from the other participant. Heck, to sum up, Conversation discourse analysis is a fascinating lens through which we can understand the intricate dance of dialogue. It involves recognizing and analyzing patterns such as turn-taking, adjacency pairs, preference organization, and repair. Understanding these principles can help us not only in analyzing conversations, but also in becoming more effective communicators. Whether it's a customer service interaction, a political debate, or a casual chat with a friend, the principles of conversation discourse analysis can provide us with valuable insights into the complex world of human communication. So the next time you engage in a conversation, remember, it's not just an exchange of words. It's a dance of ideas, emotions, and social norms beautifully choreographed and performed. And the more you understand this dance, the better you can participate in it.